Hello everyone, <clears throat> time for my annual American Chestnut update from uh, Northeast Wisconsin, uh, up near, if you're looking on a map, up near uh, Pembine, uh, just a couple miles from Pembine. Uh, these are American Chestnuts I planted. This one here was planted in, uh, as a direct planting in 2000, and uh, it's on its fourth growing season. The cage it's in is uh, five foot tall, and uh, uh, it's grown, we'll call it four feet. So this year, this spring was just like every other spring. The uh, chestnuts leafed out, started growing, and then got nailed by frost. Fortunately, this year, most of them did not die back to the ground. So this one died pretty far down. It's uh, got basically a foot worth of growth on it this year. The trees look great, they look healthy. And, uh, sorry about my finger there. And you come down the stem, you can see it did send up some suckers. So, uh, uh, that's unfortunate. So put some energy into those. In the winter, I will uh, clear that, uh, cut those, cut those off when there's no chance of any blight being around or any other bugs to give an infection. So, uh, yeah, fourth growing season, fourth time they've been uh, nailed by late frost. The latest frost last year was June 12th, and that killed pretty much all of them to the ground. It was one exception that uh, made it about four or six inches above the ground and sent out a bud. I'll show you that one. Uh, the sticks are in there to keep the uh, uh, buds from growing outside the cage so uh, the deer don't eat them. I'll show you one other one. This one did pretty good this year. Hopefully I can hold it fairly steady and you don't get too dizzy. So here is another American chestnut direct planted in 2000, fourth growing season. And if you look down in there, maybe I can get it with the camera, maybe not. You can see where uh, it died back to probably about four or five inches from the top and then sent up another sprout. And that's got a good foot and a half on it, I'd say. So this one here, uh, step back a little bit is just under four feet like the other one right around the same so uh, I got a lot of uh, stuff growing in there it's hard to tell what's going on uh, down there but in the fall I will uh, or early winter probably late November sometime in December depends on the snow uh, uh, I'll come up and clean up all the trash under there and let it go from there there's another one over there. This one uh, died back to the ground last year, and this year it died back pretty heavy. You can see the old uh, stem on it going all the way down, and it sent up that sucker probably about two and a half feet, you know, which is fine, uh, providing that. Uh, you know, maybe next spring we won't get a late frost. Like I said, the worst one we've had was June 12th. That one we actually had two that year. There was one uh, third week in May after they budded out. That killed all the buds. And then the one came to, came in June 12th. And uh, they were rebudding and sent everything down to the ground. I had one tree not rebud out of that. So uh, this is American Chestnut Update. 2024, August 3rd. And uh, I might do an oak update too. So, bye. Thanks for watching.